just wanted to announce that <clears throat> I'm thinking that uh, van life is uh, over for me. My, uh, my van didn't make it through the last <laughs> intersection there. Uh, somebody ran into me and did some pretty good damage on the engine, so I won't be able to move the vehicle. And I'm going to have to find a way to work my way back to Alberta, where I come from. I'm in BC right now. So um, what I've got to do is go to the auto wreckers and see if they're going to give me any kind of money for the van. It's just full of stuff. I don't know what to do. Uh, sell some of the stuff that's inside it or I, I don't know how that even works. I don't even know if I can go in it or what I can do. I'll uh, post a picture of what it looks like. And uh, like I said, try to make my way back to Alberta, either fly back or get a ride back somehow. So I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, as of right now, though, it looks like van life is over for me. Uh, it was good, good while it lasted. It, I think it was just about a year, month short of a year. And so far I've made some pretty good friends here in Vancouver. Um, Eddie, Monica, his wife, and uh, Bill from Alberta, um, Chuck from, well, from Winnipeg area, but he's now living and residing in Vancouver. So I have uh, quite a quite a few good friends. Timothy is a good friend of mine. Um, uh, there must be a few more. I just can't remember their names right now because they've got so much on my mind with the van that's all busted up, and uh, the trip's over. So. Anyways, a lot of people walking by here and they're all wondering what I'm doing <laughs> at this park. And uh, I have some friends coming to pick me up. We'll go and have a final look at the van, see what I, if I can get anything out of it or what have you, I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to try to make my way back, like I said, to... Uh, Alberta where I come from and uh, van life is over for me so it's over and out guys <laughs> <laughs>